In this video, we're gonna show a neat application where you can check the alignment of different objects in an area. So for instance, we have this, uh, this box here, for instance, that could represent anything. Let's say it's a conveyor system, for instance. So we have the ground, we have uh, the, back, the side wall, the back wall, the right wall, and then we have a top wall. And we wanna make sure that all of this is plumb, and I'm gonna quickly show how you can use a total station to do, to do this in a very easy application. On the tablet, I've created a project. You can see that it's a, a basic building line project where I have a line, a building line one to building line two. And what that represents is this wall here. It just basically represents what, where this wall is. So if you think about a real world application, you may have a control point that represents the where the plumb point of this wall is, which I've kind of marked with an X down here. Uh, for this drywall, I think this would be a very basic way of expressing it. There is point one, and then over here on the right side, I have point two down here at the bottom. And those are just my plumb points for this wall. I wanna basically align this entire wall to those plumb points. And I'm gonna show how to use that total station just real quick. Let's start with this wall on the left side first. So looking at the tablet, you can see that um, I'm starting to measure my wall right now. What you can see is I have my laser right there at the top of the wall. So again, my, my first point was down there at the bottom. And now I'm at the top. I wanna to see if that point is plumb with this line that I made on the bottom of the wall. And what you can see over here on the right side is it's telling me kind of where I am on my wall. But on the right side, it's showing you my height value of how high I am off the, off the ground. So my ground was zero and I'm about eight feet in the air. But the important thing you, that for this wall is this offset value, it's one quarter inch off. So what that is telling me is that that point up there at that specific point is one quarter inch too far in this way away from the wall, which might be a concern, might not be, but I might need to mark that as a, as a trouble point. Now I've moved my laser over to this right side of the wall, kind of right above the, uh, the point from, that I made down there. Now it's on the right side. And over here on the, on the tablet, you can see that I'm now, it's showing me the same offset, about a quarter inch off as well. So this wall I'm noticing is actually leaning in towards me from that, from that baseline down at the bottom, which might be problematic, might not be, it's up to you. But that, that wall is clearly not plumb, and I need to mark that and, and make sure that I'm, I'm making note of that. All right, now I'm going to move to my back wall. Okay, so I'm going to be checking to make sure that this back wall is plumb to my, my base wall, my control wall, I guess you can call it. So you can see I have a point up there at the top. Now over here on my, on my line uh, settings, you can see that my line value is coming down to be about 8 feet, 8 and 13 16. So what that means is that I'm from my first point down here, point 1, I've come down the wall and that point right there is coming in at 8 feet, 8 and 13 16. So theoretically that point, in order for this wall to be plumb, this entire wall needs to be exactly 8 feet, 8 and 13 16 away from that base point down the line. So let's check if that's the case. So here I've moved it down the wall just a little bit. Let's see if that point is indeed that same distance. 8 feet 8 and 15 16 so it's coming up about you know an eighth an eighth difference there so that's a is that is that problematic yes or no at least the the, the wall does seem basically about 90 degrees but as you check that as you go down the wall bit by bit that might be more of a concern you get need a track because you'd want obviously the entire wall all the way down until it hits the parallel parallel wall to be exactly that distance the entire way down to make sure it's 90 degrees and plumb to the to the base control wall Okay, now moving on to the parallel wall, I put my, my laser on this little stud right here, and I wanna see if that point, uh, if this wall is indeed parallel to my control wall, which is behind me. So I'm gonna measure this point here and see if that measurement is the same parallel from that control wall all the way down. So right now, let's see what that value. All right, that value offset is coming in at seven feet, 11 and 11 sixteenths. So I need to make sure that every stud on that wall is coming in an offset value for my control wall of seven, 11 and 11 sixteenths. Now I've moved my point down a little bit, just as an example, let's see if that's coming in at that same spot. Seven feet, 11 and seven sixteenths. It's, it's about that, it's maybe, maybe a sixteenth off. It's, it's having a hard time to settle on a sixteenth there but it's basically parallel to my control wall, which again is behind me. So again, I do that at all my control points along the wall and I mark and, and make a record of the ones that are bad. All right, lastly, we need to check our heights. So right now we have our ceiling points up there and you can see that the, uh, these points are coming in about nine feet, 11 and seven eighths, almost uh, 10 feet above um, our ground, which is what they would expect that. Now let's check to see if this, this ceiling is plumb all the way down. So right now that location is nine feet, 11 and seven eighths. Let me just move my laser over to the right at a, you know, theoretically another control point. And that's coming in at 
10 feet and a quarter. So it's actually higher than the point that I was at on the left side. So this ceiling is bowing a little bit in the middle. So you check more control points and mark the ones that are bad to ensure it's level all the way down. And finally, we're gonna do the same thing on the floor. You can see that I've moved it to the floor and ideally you'd be putting that at a control point. Coming in here, looking at my value, its height is 16th or zero, which is what I expect because that's what it's supposed to be. But let's check one more point. Let me just move my total station over, maybe to a point in that back corner. Let's see what that height value is coming in as. Negative 316. So it's actually bowing down towards the back. If that's a problem, you need to mark that and record it. But of course, you can do this on a large scale if you need to. Whether you're using a laser, using prisms, however your setup is, it's, you know, it's possible to see all that information to get your deviations. Hope that helped.